for Nigeria to rise again, we all must come to the point where we stop waiting for foreigners to come fix our nation for us. A wise man said, the well-being of a country is determined by its citizens. It is wrong for us to wait for foreigners to come fix our nation for us. The change we desire in Nigeria won't come until we all get involved. Now, at various points, I want us all to understand that we have roles to play. Now, it is wrong for us to program it in our mind that until we have foreigners, we can't get a good Nigeria. I read about the Chinese. Several years ago, they were struggling with their economy. Seriously struggling. But they all agreed that if China will compete with the world, that they have to move their people from a consuming nation to a productive nation. And within a space of time, I can tell you of a fact that China began to compete with the world in their economy. The same as Dubai and other prosperous countries out there. Listen, the well-being of a country is determined by her citizens. Can I tell the truth? Nigeria is blessed with great minds. I come again, great minds. But the problem we have in our nation is this. We always want international intervention we seek to have we just believe that if there is no uh, 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 foreign assistance foreign intervention our country won't do well now, and that's a lie that i didn't know who told us now this mindset is the reason many nigerians show maximum maximum loyalty only to bosses in companies owned by foreigners. I come again, this is the main reason why you see Nigerians show maximum loyalty. Once they discover that their boss is a foreigner or the company in which they work is owned by a foreigner. And you will also notice that they put up laxity, you know, a lackadaisical attitude when it comes to companies that are owned or that the bosses are Nigerians. Listen, I took my time to study our sports. Many years ago, I mixed a lot of criticism. Stephen Okichuku of Blessed Memory was chosen to lead the Super Eagles. A lot of people said a lot of negative things about him. But do you know that he went on to conquer Africa and brought the African Nations Cup of 2013 to Nigeria. Then we began to praise. Now, all of a sudden, we qualified for the World Cup and people started talking again. Do you know that from research, we discovered that he was not even allowed to pick his major 11 that would play for him at the World Cup. Nigeria will rise again. When we all begin to believe in the gifted hands and heads that God has given to us. Have you heard of Adebayo Ogunlesi before? That man is a Nigerian, but doing great exploits. I say again, doing great exploits abroad. Have you heard of Israel at Bisoya? Hamoru Usman, Usman, Anthony Joshua. What about Professor on Lawale Sulaiman, a renowned neurosurgeon, a man who was who is known in America as the only man that specializes in spine surgery. Let's go to the music aspect. What about somebody like David Adeleke, our own Davido? Do we talk about Tiwa Savage? Now, these uh, singers had done exploit all over the world. Can we also talk about the spiritual aspect of it? I was on a flight coming from Johannesburg to Nigeria many years ago 
And a lot of South Africans were trooping into Nigeria. So I asked one of them why they were coming. And they said, wow, wow, that they were coming for a program in Nigeria. Now, look at the boost that it must have given to the aviation industry. They were buying tickets, coming to Nigeria for spiritual purpose. We are blessed with the pastor E. E. Adeboes, the Bishop David Oyedekos, Dr. Paul Inenche, and so on. Permit me to say this. Nigeria indeed is blessed, but the problem we have is the foreigners' intervention mentality. For Nigeria to be great again, beloved, I want us to begin to believe from now in ourselves. Let's believe in what we have. Let's believe in our products. A Nigerian would prefer to go get what we call bend down and pick. Now, it has been packaged in such a way we call it bend down boutique. Now, clothes that have been used abroad, Nigerians would prefer to buy such than to go get fabrics made in our own country. Who did this to us? Let's wake up. Nigeria can be great again. But pick that statement of the wise man that said, the well-being of a country is determined by its citizens. Will you arise? Will you contribute to your quota? Will you believe in yourself? Will you believe in your fellow brother? Let's wake up. I come again to our pledge. It says, I pledge to Nigeria my country to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all as my strength, to defend our unity and uphold our honor and glory. So help me God. For Nigeria to rise again, let's stop waiting for foreigners to come help us build our country. Contribute your quarter.